So the first thing I need for the puree is two cups of basil leaves. What I'm gonna do is blanch them in hot water, and what that does is really set the green color so it's fresh green basil in the potato basil puree. So I need a big pot of boiling salted water. What I'm gonna do is use the same water for the basil as I am for the potatoes. So two cups of fresh basil leaves right into the water. And it's gonna sit there for about 15 seconds, just until it's blanched. And then into ice water, which is called shocking, and it really sets the green color. Okay, right into the ice water, which is why you wanna have the ice water ready before you start. Okay, next, the potatoes. So I've got two pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. They're peeled and maybe about one and a half inch dice. And those are gonna cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. And while they cook, little home movies. I'm gonna show you where I got the inspiration for these potatoes. It's the Bistro de Paris, it's near the Seine, and it's the real thing. Old school Parisian bistro with incredible charm. If you order veal chops in a place like this, you are definitely having potato puree alongside. So, drain potatoes, put the lid on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is heat up some half and half. I've got one cup, just to a simmer. I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. It's really important not to let the cream boil though because Parmesan will end up a mess. Okay, next I'm gonna puree the basil in the food processor. Just strain it really well. Ooh, that's cold. So I'm just gonna put this in and then I'm gonna put the cream in and puree them together. It's hot but not boiling. So this is the mixture that's gonna go into the potatoes. So just give it a whir. So now I'm gonna show you how I make mashed potatoes, actually in the pot. And I'm just gonna break them up a little bit and then turn it on. And it makes the most fabulous mashed potatoes. Light and fluffy. Okay, so these are perfectly broken up. So just very slowly add the, enough basil cream so it, the mashed potatoes are the right texture. I always save a little bit for later just in case they get too thick. Okay, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. Just mix that all in. Ooh, does this smell good. It's a tough job I have. Oh, it's smooth and creamy. And the basil is, mm, it's just delicious. You can really taste the Parmesan. Mm. This potato basil puree smells so amazing. I'm just gonna give it a whisk. It's just the right texture. You can really smell the Parmesan and all the basil. Wow. A little sprinkling of Parmesan on top. Could it look any better?